Hey everyone, Bruce Muffs and LCSW from Sunridge of Nevada, coming at you with another breakdown from you know the greatest, one of the greatest rappers of all time, Mac Miller, and we've been covering his album Swimming, and I'm about to do, uh, we were doing sequences of the songs, and I'm about to do the song Small Worlds. So here we go. In looking at this song, looking and listening to this song, what impressed me the most is how versatile he is as a musician. The lyrics and the way he just describes the lyrics are very placid and languid uh, with the background music. What is languid? That's like a, just like, like it flows like syrup out of something. Very slow, very peaceful. Almost like contemplation music, like he's looking at himself in a com- contemplative manner. Hence the drawn out words that you hear like small, wall, call. And he uses the piano so effectively, and I said this repeatedly um, multiple times already, what a talented, talented musician he was. Okay, so here we go. He uses a paragraph where he goes like this. I know I probably need to do better, blank whoever, keep my blank together. You never told me that being rich was so lonely. Nobody know me, oh well, hard to complain from this five-star hotel. What Mac is saying to me is, I need to change my life and I got to get it together. And this is what depression does to you. You're constantly like, almost like, almost like being schizophrenic where you're hearing like phrases in your head like, shape up, get it together, get out of bed, take a shower, look for a job, bring home money, be responsible. What's wrong with you? He's being lazy. I remember these kind of guys in the army, you know, and then what happens is, you get these famous last words, like he said in the lines, do better and get your act together. You know, if it was that easy. <laughs> wow. You know, that's simple. Oh, no more depression. Wow. Mac saw that. He saw what was going on with him, and he knew that. And he realizes something very, very interesting that we often don't really understand until you go from very small to very big. You reach the top on paper, and you know what you find out? It's paper thin. Being on top is paper thin. And when you're dealing with issues like feeling empty and sad for a period of time, and then that you feel helpless and hopeless, what happens is you get stressed out. And of course, you're going to feel lonely. As Mac put it very, very well, I'm rich and famous at a very, very young age. I'm lionized all around the world. And I'm holed up in this amazing room in this outstanding hotel. So why am I so lonely and sad? And so many people go through this. Like, I got to the top. The fun of being at the top wasn't all that I thought it would be. It's depressing. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm living in luxury I'm living in places people can only dream about, and yet I feel the only thing I want to do is climb into bed and stay there for the next 20 hours and not leave my room. Not shower, not shave, just vegetate. That's what he's trying to say, and he does a really, really good job with this, and just impressive in how he breaks it down so eloquently. And then he goes on the last paragraph, he says, that's why I wrote this song. I wrote this song, Small Worlds. He found his world to be small for him. Again, people don't just randomly throw out um, song titles. There's a reason behind it. I wrote this song, told myself to hold on. I can feel my fingers slipping. In a blank instant, I'll be gone. Hold on. Hold on. Losing it and then poof. It's all over. What I want to say in a clinical perspective is this. Please, please, please try to never get caught up in never feeling you have to compare yourself to others and learn to accept you for you. Say this again. Please try to never get caught up in never comparing yourself to others and learn to accept you for you. Avoid that social media hype. The internet is great. You know, and I'll I'll be honest, this this is what made us. 20 years ago, this never would have happened. 10 years ago, a glimmer. Five years ago, eh. But we're doing what we're doing now because of the power of the internet. All right? 
it's great and we love it, but can also be terrible for you. You never will have an idea on what someone else is feeling and dealing with. And even if they share it with you, you generally still won't have a clue. Okay, you still won't get what's going on with their lives. And yes, I know we do it all the time. We compare and contrast like, oh, his girlfriend's really attractive or he's only going on great vacations. He doesn't have a care in the world. Well, look how beautiful that house is. You know, you don't know what families and individuals are dealing with and you never know. Part of my job is hear people say things to me that, you know, I never told this to anyone. I never shared this with anybody. Well, that's what happens. That's the real world. They're not on Instagram or on social media or anywhere else shooting pictures, shooting pictures. It's a different perspective when you get clean with yourself. There's always that feeling of they have everything and I have nothing. Let that thought go. Be grateful for you and what talents you bring to the table. And Mac was trying in his own way to reach for reality and the truth. And I'm sure that's all he would want for his fans is to feel good about who you are and to feel good about yourselves and learn to like yourself for who you are. How you control your mental health is related to your physical, social, and environmental perspective. It also affects how you see yourself emotionally. You want to work on these areas. You want to look at life as not just like one piece of it and not just like I'm just going to feed my body and not feed my brain. It's a total picture. It's a big picture perspective. And that's how I want you to look at yourself. Realize the uniqueness that what you bring to the table, what you're doing well, what you're successful at, and also realize your flaws. But don't compare yourself to others because you were made for the purpose that you were made. Think about that. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye.